Before we get started imaging with the Chison Eco 3, let's take a quick look at how the system works, where some menus are, and some things that may not be as obvious for while you're scanning. So, first let's just look at the design. The machine is designed around your hand. It is this is called a home base design, where the things while you're scanning are going to be closest to where your hand will be positioned over a trackball. Things that you'll do less during scanning would be over to the right or further away, you know, things that you might only change every now and then during an exam, if at all. Knowing that, let's just go around the user interface. Obviously, we found the power button, which will turn the machine on. It's a standard QWERTY keyboard. Nothing terribly strange about it, but we'll get into the patient information screen. We have your probe select here. We have our patient key here, so we'll get into that in the next chapter as well. System setup will take you into the system customizations menu, and we'll get to that into a later chapter. End is for end exam. We have a body marker. We have our comments button, an arrow for putting an arrow on screen, delete for deleting comments and measurements, our archive button where we'll look at previous images either for a current exam or past exam so you can either export them to DICOM, save them to USB or just review them in general. Here's your report button and there are two assignable print keys here for a black and white color printer or whatnot. Here are the imaging modes. We have M mode 4B which is quad screen, 2B which is dual screen, B which is 2D. We have our gain, depth and focus and some of these you can push down so like right now if I push it down focus highlights if I push down and then it goes to depth and this will be twisted in order to adjust that parameter on the screen change is used for various parameters such as a uh, region of interest box and we'll show that in later later in later videos as well this is for your pointer to get one up on screen in case you want to select something exit to exit any menu that you're in or something that you want to get off the screen and update will be used for pulse wave doppler and some other such items across the top here we have what are called soft keys so we have soft keys that all refer to these boxes down at the bottom so if we want to change the frequency we would push one of these up or down to change that parameter so if, here we push down and that value goes up or down and that's what these soft keys are here Along the top, we just have the general information about the facility, uh, the probe, your indices, your date, your time, and then information along here tells you about the frames per second, the gain, your power, frequency, your dynamic range, and your depth. Down along here, you'll have clipboard, so each time you save an image, it will appear down on that clipboard, and then you'd use this arrow to select that and view it. We have a battery indicator a USB indicator, there's an X through it showing that there's no USB attached, your network, language, and the percent of hard drive space that is used. And of course you have your TGCs over here and everything is pretty standard. Finally we have a little menu key here, it's not labeled, but when you push it down a sub menu comes up where you can twist and then you push down and make an adjustment to that parameter. Now this submenu will change depending on what imaging mode you're in. You know, if you go into Doppler or something of that sort, it's going to have a completely different menu, and it also changes whether you're in a frozen image or not. Next we'll get into imaging with the Chison Eco 3.